And Shalom, Yashallah, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh. I do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders of Yashallah. Call Halalim Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Harakakadash, for blessing our elders with the spirit of truth, so that we may know. Shout out to the Akim and the Akwathim that's keeping the faith in the works. Y'all keep at it. This is your brother Abaya coming at you with more precepts. All right, more precepts. I'm going to dive right on into it. This is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 11. Um, let me see. In verse 23, I'll start at 23. All right, speaking about the Passover. Because right, we in that time, some of us have already celebrated or, you know, well, yeah, some of us have already celebrated the holy day. Some of us are about to, or however you're doing it, you know, whatever timeline you on, just make sure you do it, right? And let's see, I'm going to get into it. So this is the book of 1 Corinthians 11, 23 says, For I have received of Yahweh that which also I delivered unto you, that Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. So he's speaking about the Passover and speaking about Judas <clears throat> and the rest of the 12 that were at the, you know, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai's um, last supper. All right. So it says, and when he had given thanks, he break it and said, take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. Now, I've read this scripture several times the last couple of days but the more I read it it's like it just hit home more and more every time I hear it every time I read it right it says and when he had given thanks he break it and said take eat this is my body which is broken for you this do in remembrance of me that's why we celebrate the Passover because we fully understand that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man, he did that for us. If he if he never would have done that, like we'd be done. We'd be lost, man. Like there would literally be no hope. This is already a hopeless society, especially as it pertains to so called black, so called Native Americans and so so called Hispanics. Right? It's a hopeless society. So just imagine living in that society with no end. You just end that. All right, so all praise to the Most High Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, you know, for uh, having mercy on us and uh, allowing us a chance to get right, you know? So it says in verse 25, after the same manner also he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. Now, um, that, that cup represents the blood, right? Like we just read. So the old covenant came with a blood um, um, covenant with Moses. Um, I believe it was an oxen. He slid the oxen's throat, you know, just got done reading all of the passages um, and presented it to Israel as a contract. And the blood signified the signature. So Moses sprinkled the blood on the altar, sprinkled the blood on the books, and sprinkled the blood on the people. And the people agreed and said, everything that you have said, we will do. All right? So this new covenant or you know testament as we just read it is covered in blood as well that blood went on um the word because the word was made flesh right came from the father and landed on us on this earth because he walked among us it's the same thing right so that cup would be, you know, whatever your, your your red wine of choice is. That's why it's red for real, for real. All right, but, you know, it signifies the blood of Hamashiach. Once again, that mercy, man, that mercy. And so many of the most high people refuse to partake 
in the holy days. They would rather partake in pagan days that they know are pagan. They know they pagan, but they would choose. They would rather do that, right? Instead of following the holy days in the holy book, right? So you blessed just on that fact alone, right? Verse 26 says, for as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show um, the Lord's death till he come. Right, so it's we doing it every year in remembrance of. So every year we're showing, right? Because when you remember something, it's a visual in your head, right, of that thing, of that act, right? And we're going to do it till Shiloh come. Most high willing, this was the last one, most high willing. And I know all of us that's operating in the spirit of truth, we have the same mindset right now. Most high willing, this is it. Because we in hell. And we fully understand it. Right? Verse 27. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Right? So whoever partakes of the Passover with the wrong mindset you're you're not israel right or you operating in folly right it says that person will be guilty of the body and blood of yahweh bashim yahweh meaning you will be counted as one that put him up there right and the most I said, he coming back for vengeance on those that put him up there, according to Revelation 1. He coming back to see them folk. All right. It says in verse 28, but let a man examine himself. And so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. When you participate in the Passover, it is vital that you have your mind right, man. If you don't have your mind right and you just go and partake of the Passover like it's just a party, it's not a, to be real, this is, it's not a party event. It's a serious event. It was serious then and it was serious um, when the Messiah did his thing. He was about to die. That's why they call it the Last Supper. It was dead serious. So it's a time to reflect, man. It's a, it's a time to righteously check yourself, to make sure that your mind is focused and, and, and set on pleasing the Father and, and you're thinking back on, you know, all the wrong that you've done or how negative you are, and you try to work on that thing. That's from that point forward. Right? It says, let me see. Verse 29, for he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning Yahweh's body. Are right, you righteously putting, you putting all kind of hurt and harm on yourself, on your body, on your mind, on your spirit? Because you're not, you, it's basically you're not taking this serious. That's what the Most High is saying. Take this serious. Because it's always been serious. The first Passover represented death passing over us. The second Passover represented the Messiah dying for us. The Passover is a serious event, man. How folks say, oh man, serious as a heart attack. Shit, that real. All right. Verse 30 says, for this cause, many are weak and sickly among you and many sleep. It said, because people didn't take that Passover serious, that's why people are ailing. That's why people are, are dying. I can attest to this for real, for real, to be honest with you. I've been in the truth for uh, a few years. It might be, you know, might be about four or five years, something like that. Maybe. Right? 
And when I first learned this truth, you know, I was trying to do everything I could. And I participated in, um, you know, uh, Passovers. And I can attest to my body. I'm talking about straight up aching, man. I'm talking about my back. Like just aching. Because I wasn't going into it with the right mindset. You know what I'm saying? My mindset was on, I right, ate. This a this a um a holy day that's supposed to replace Christmas. This was in my head when I first learned the truth. So I'm looking at this as though this is supposed to replace a pagan day. So I'm thinking of it as a party. Well, we supposed to you know do our traditional things and everything, but I'm not taking it serious as this represents death passing over us. Like this day is intertwined with death. Right? And life. All depends on how you go about it. Right? And it took a while for me to see that. And these are the scriptures that I read to, for me to see that. So say yourself some heartache and some trouble. And man, when Passover comes, don't be playing. Take it serious. Read them scripts as it pertains to the day. Right? So, most high willing these precepts and this video are edifying. Um, call Halloim Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah by Shem Harakakadash. Shalom Yahshallah. Shalom.